Hey guys, welcome back to our urban homestead. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Chelsea. I live in Southwest Michigan, growing zone eight, no, <laughs> six A. And I am very passionate about growing food and preserving it. So I hope you enjoy that kind of content. If you do, feel free to give me a subscribe. Today we are getting ready to plant our green stock. It is April 14th today and we're pretty much in the clear. Uh, we will have some light frost days next week but nothing major and I'm going to be planting some lettuce and I actually bought some broccoli starts. I have horrible horrible luck with broccoli so we're going to give it a go see if it works but I thought I'd bring you along and share how I prepare my green stock for the upcoming year and what's going in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all of the sections off. It does need filled up and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Fill it with some soil. I'm using this. Nothing fancy. I think I got these at Lowe's for, uh, they had a special three for 10 on these. And I don't even think I'll need all three of them. But we're going to, uh, yeah, let's get started. So now that I have them tapped up with soil, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a clean. There are little holes that the water, the water will collect in here and then it will drip. And I love the watering system on this. I got my green stock, oh, I don't know, three, maybe four years ago when they were like brand new. Um, this watering system is not as great as the improved ones that they have put out in years since, but I still love it. It's a great way to grow a lot of food in a very small space. So I'm gonna go get these washed. All right, everything is filled, cleaned, put back together. Now comes the fun part, planting in it. So I use a mixture, anytime I plant anything in this or when I amend my beds for planting out my summer crops, I use a mixture of worm castings, blood meal, and bone meal. And I just mix it all together and, um, and add some to each hole. So before I start doing that, I am going to wet the soil down just a little bit. All right, so I think we're gonna get these broccoli planted. And I'm gonna start, let me, can you guys even see right there? Yeah, yeah. Gonna take some of this out. a little sprinkle of that mixture I was talking about earlier. So I just went and bought these at Lowe's. Uh, I don't know why this year people are putting them in the clear, clear pots. That's not really good for your roots. Oh, and look, this is a cauliflower. So we've got two broccoli, one cauliflower.
Okay, I'm gonna get the broccoli planted and then we will plant the rest and I'll tell you what's going in it. this top tier planted and we're gonna do some lettuces do a ruby leaf uh, butter crunch a couple different varieties lettuce seeds are super super tiny So I typically just pat them down and I'll just add just a tiny little layer of soil on top of them. So my camera shut off because it was in the sun and got really hot. So I did some, well, I'll flip the camera around and tell you. All right, the Ruby Reef ruby leaf lettuce up here butter crunch and then i did spinach on the other ones of these and this last tier down uh, next tier down this last tier i am going to put some peppers a tomato plant and a couple other things when it gets time just so you guys can see really uh how much you can grow in the green stock now let's go to the front yard garden and see if my garlic and onions survived the winter. Oregano. This stuff, I mean, you just can't get rid of this stuff. But I use it a lot and dry it a lot, so you need to come out here and weed. Some more oregano. I've got it everywhere. <laughs> like, look, it's coming out the sides, you guys. All right. I'm nervous about these because the bulbs are a bit mushy. The tops are beautiful. These are the onions. Tops are beautiful on all of them. The bulbs are mushy. My garlic did not survive. Just like maybe a couple, three. <laughs> we had a super, we had a really crazy winter. Like first we would get hardly any snow and then we would get a ton of snow and then it would be like 50 degrees. So I think that wacky weather is what messed up my garlic and onions. I don't know. Tell me what you think below in the comments. I might have to go to a local greenhouse and get some onion starts. Not the sets, but the ones that they plant from seed. So hopefully those will do better. So I'm glad to get the green stock planted, be eating some fresh salad in no time, which will be wonderful. Thank you so much for coming along with me. And I'm so ready for the garden season to begin. <laughs> so until next time, guys, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.